Hi guys, I'm back. Um, you're going to see me uh, for a second time. I tried to upload some videos this past weekend and they would not load and we kept having errors and it is what it is. But today's Monday and just wasn't feeling today. I got up late. I slept in. So you have no shower. Yesterday's makeup. Um, just tired. I'm just exhausted. I mean, stayed busy all weekend trying to get stuff done. My kids are on fall break this week, um, which uh, my husband and son are getting ready to head to Alabama tomorrow with my brother-in-law to go fishing. Um, and my daughter is up north staying with her aunt for a couple days, and then we'll get her back, or I will get her back. Um, so she can make sure and get to her cheerleading practice on Thursday. But, um, I'm at work today. I have, like, probably less than an hour to go before I get off. And then I have to head, um, an hour south, um, to go to my daughter's gym and teach my tumbling classes. So even though she's not going to be there, I'm still going to do my classes. And then I'm going to go home and it'll be time to get a shower and start back over for the next day. Um, I am at work. I got like a crazy weird call today. Um, I'm sure it was a prank call, but it was a call that I was like, seriously? And when you work alone, it makes you feel a little eerie, like, wow. So some guy called and said some vulgar things and whatever, and he acted like he was a customer or had been in here that day but today but a the voice didn't fit the description of what I would have thought would have been that person so whatever it is what it is um I do have a crazy crazy weekend coming up um it's a festival in our uh town that I grew up in where all of our family comes to town and we get to see everyone that we haven't seen forever. Um, and it, it's just a festival that has a ton of just kind of like flea market stuff. There's a local bar there. Um, so the plan is to go there, hang out, see family that I haven't seen in a while or sat down and talked to. Um, I have a cousin that's turning 21. So that's kind of you know, cool that he gets to go into the local bar that he's always wanted to go in. Which is hilarious because it's a little hole in the wall bar, but it's something that um, being around our area, like, is, uh, you know, kind of a popular little bar that, um, you know, turning 21 is kind of a big deal to be able to go in there, even though it's like a little hole in the wall, but we all love it, and, you know, that's where we're from. So... Um, I don't really have any real excitement going on. Um, there was a, a situation that had happened uh, a couple weeks ago. We have a rivalry football team that we play against for our local school. Um, and in doing that, they do pranks and different things. And, um, one of the group of people from Brownstown, I guess, had spray painted the overpass of the train track which everyone does and then they also had spray painted this um, vehicle that uh, this school our rivalry school had purchased to be able to hit to raise money um, for their local wrestling team and supposedly there was some spray paint that was spray painted on it with vulgar stuff written on it okay so fast forward that was the night before the game. Uh, so maybe a Thursday night, maybe this happened on Friday. Three boys came to our high school and um, vandalized three trucks in one car um, in our school parking lot around 11 o'clock on that Friday, the day of the game. Took crowbars to the windows and, and parts of the doors and different things. So my son's vehicle got his windshield hit out um, the driver's window the passengers passengers window and where they hit between the windows um, and actually bent our car frame um, and then it actually bent part of the window in the back so 
we're still trying to deal with that. Um, we had four parents that were prosecuting and we're all suing for um, the being fixed, you know, getting the cars fixed that has happened. Uh, actually, the bad thing of it was is we were actually borrowing my parents' car, which, um, you know, it's a car that's paid for and they only had liability on it and they were letting my son drive it until we found him a truck that, um, we liked that we could purchase for him and so we didn't have to be in a big hurry but unfortunately that happened um so we're still waiting on paperwork and different things to come through see what's going to become of this um the bad thing of it is is believe it or not is i think why we have reoccurring children that continue to get in trouble is is we're told that if you have someone that is ordered to pay restitution and they just don't nothing happens so, not sure how, you know, that works, you know, not really sure. I mean, that just sends the wrong message, like, okay, so I can do stuff, and even if they order me to pay, I don't get in any trouble. I think that sends the wrong message. It's not our local law. I know it's, it, it's the law around. It's, it's how it's created. It's everyone's hands are tied on different things and it's terrible because I think if they really put the smack down the first time or two that they do something maybe we'd have a different outcome in you know kids nowadays and then people reoccurring and getting in trouble because I'm told even the kid even even adults that are getting in trouble that they're ordered to pay if they don't have the money then they can't pay it and it doesn't matter like they get no trouble they get nothing but you know what's crazy is is the county makes sure and gets their money for you know kids that have to do probation but they're not really worried about us um in which you know we don't even have the full total but we're looking at probably you know well over three thousand dollars to get my parents car fixed um which sucks i mean it really does suck and you know, these kids already have uh, records. They've already been in trouble previously. Um, and they weren't doing it to, like, certain kids. They went to the school. They went to the parking lot. And they picked the last back four cars that they knew probably that cameras weren't on the vehicles. And they did, you know, they went and they hit the cars. Um, the guys were found. They were taken in that same day. But they were, only t they were released before school got even out. And what kind of message does that send? It's okay for you to go and bash vehicles and we're going to go ahead and let you go and be released to your parents. Like, still pisses me off. Not that it should have been a football player's vehicle, but my son doesn't play football. He actually is a really good kid. He is in honors classes. He doesn't have any beef with anyone. And then this happens and you know what sucks is is you know that money that we were taking to purchase for his vehicle now we have to fix my parents car um, my parents didn't want us to do that but you know I feel like that's our responsibility um, my son was driving it and we're fixing it but I'll just have to update you guys on that once information comes in um, it's been probably about three and a half four weeks now we've still heard nothing I've called the prosecutor's office like I think when I call and talk to the vic victim's advocate girl I think she like is cringing every time I call because you know I I was super pissed and I still am super pissed but it's like they're not updating us they're not giving us any information. We can't get any police reports. And and one is actually an adult, which didn't go to jail. So that didn't make sense. And two of them are minors. And it's just been a whole mess up. But anyways, that's where we're at with that. And, you know, it's it's super, super frustrating. But um, hopefully we'll get that squared away. And hopefully that they'll have to pay for the vehicles to be fixed. Ours was the worst vehicle. Um... A couple others you know one was spray painted and headlights were busted out a couple small windows and things like that but I am gonna have to hop off here um, I am at work and um, I have some customers getting ready to come in um, so anyways guys 
please subscribe and share my videos. And I look forward to seeing you guys. Until then, mwah, thanks for watching.